Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Shorter's Trip to Earth. We won a fight last episode, uh, something I did not expect to happen. Because I thought I'm just gonna get wrecked, I didn't even know what to expect. But we are alive and it's just beautiful. And what we have to do now is I'm gonna load up uh, this nukes over here. I think the nukes did the best for us last time. Unfortunately, we don't really have too much stuff left. Uh, we also have all of these modules installed. What is in here? Armor container. Increased fuel and explosive storage. Right, we have huge fuel uh, storage right now. Good. Uh, so what are we gonna do now? I think we are ready to go this way, right? Uh, we are too far from the closest start, of course. The closest star, I should say. We're drifting out here, so... I don't want to go towards the space station. Because they attacked us from there. Even though the space station is like from the same guys. Uh, so let's go in here. And we should be able to jump now. Yeah. There you go. Warp destination. Go boys. Warp in progress. Perfect. Uh, so. Now if you look at this. Uh, let's see, if we press this one, we now have options to go to Xena or to Mistus next, if we survive this, of course. We are full on what? What is this? Something. Uh, Hest is the exit, so this is definitely a shorter trip. But it does say this place has a fleet. I'm pretty sure we can't fight a fleet, but, uh, you never know, right? So, for now, we're gonna be here, we can go... Check. Looks like there's another sta space station from Red Emporium. Uh, we don't really have much money, but we could sell them some synthetics that we have full on and metals. And then buy some extra fuel. Because we are definitely going to need some fuel. This looks like the same place we've been right now. For some reason. Like it has the same composition of stuff. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. Have we... have we jumped? Because it looks... Severely like the place we've been to before. Any case. Let's go... Oh, uh, there's some red stuff going on. Sensors reduced. Okay. Oh, there's a fleet. Or there's a ship coming towards me. Alright. We can upgrade one of these slots, apparently. How about we upgrade maybe our shields or something? Can we do that? Uh, we can upgrade some things. Multi containers, fuel tank. Now, uh, which one is our shield thing? Now, this is the shield generator. It's old. Well, we could. How do you upgrade a storage? I don't know. In any case. Let's go... So we are here. Yeah, I guess we were here and we were close to this. So th this jump over here wasn't really needed. I guess. But in any case, there's a ship coming towards us. Approaching fleet. Small fleet of ships is approaching tactical weapons range. They're using some kind of auxiliary jamming device and decays to make the exact content of their fleet unclear from this range. Uh, this is nothing personnel. We just need to feed our family. So it's a pirate. Then would you take our friendly donation of 100 organics? Uh, you know what? We don't back down from no red pirates. Fleet? This is one place. They have... Uh, I guess this is shield and this is the fleet HP. Okay, let's see. They have... Uh, MPE ray gun. Okay. Disrupt shields or overloads unshielded modules. Ooh. That's a big bad boy. Deals extra damage to shields. Okay. So their stuff deals extra damage to shields. Mini cannon? Ignore shield. Okay. I see low accuracy though. And they have the fire cannon. Ignore shields. Uh, plastic balls that explode and cause fire and impact. Someone improved accuracy. Okay. Do we have people fighting fires? We do have you fighting fires. We have one person repairing and we have three people on the stuff. I think we're using our green death right now. Dude, nukes so far have done good for us. And I'm thinking I'm just shooting right in here. Plop it in right in the middle. And then with happy, 
damages and overloads the modules in the area. We're going for the fire cannon. This could be a miss though because it's on the side. So what if we just aim for the bridge? That's gonna definitely confuse them. And then with our number one that ignores uh, stuff, I think we go in here and we go for their cannon. I would love to get rid of their ability to aim at us. Uh, number two is the Gatling stuff. Where's their shield generator? That's the shield batteries. Increase maximum shield points, but doesn't recharge shields. Yeah, where's their shield recharger thing? No command sensor. Warp drive. That's another uh, turret. Okay. That, that's, that's okay. Where's their shield thing? Mechanics container. Fuel tank. Explosive storage. Yo, I don't know. They're hiding it. It's not a defense. Uh, just, just go in here for the big boy, I guess. Sure. Oh, actually, let's let's go for this this bad boy over here. And then number three, the laser. Well, I guess it can point in here as well. Let's unpause. Let's see the nukes fly. Oh, they're looking into our ass right now. Show me. Oh. One of the hostile ships is charging up its warp drive. Not engine to escape the common area. We might want to prevent them in order to increase post battle salvage. Yeah, we definitely nuke the hell out of them right now. Got rid of their shields. That nuke is beautiful. Uh, that's the engine. Where's the warp drive? That's here, right? Go for it. Every man on board. Go for the their warp drive. Racket. It. It's gonna be ready in a bit. Okay. It's broken. Perfect, we got him, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Uh, that thing is being repaired. Let's get their cannons now. You two go middle. Laser, you work on this one over here. We don't have shields either. Uh, we lost medbay. That's not the worst thing ever. Uh, our generator is not doing that peachy. But otherwise, we're working on it. This, this laser is definitely firing way out there. How's their HP? They have one HP. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Our laser is firing way out there, but this should be a hit. Deflection. I don't like this thing coming towards us. We do have our boys, the point defense, working on it. Good. Salvage complete. Uh, utility bots. Salvage a lot of stuff. We got uh, module, organics, fuel, metals, synthetics, explosives, xenodata, extra fate points. Let's go! Uh, it's an extra fuel tank. I don't think we need an extra fuel tank. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna store that in here. Can we store it? There you go. Okay, if we need to, we can we can grab that. Uh, we have access of resources over here, so we're gonna convert twenty twenty six of this into fuel. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, this costs fuel. That's obnoxious. Fine, let's just convert to fuel. That's okay. All right, all right. Not so bad, boys. Get those repairs done. Is this fixed? It is fixed. It lacks patience. Do we still have anybody injured? This guy is a bit injured. This guy is a bit injured. Uh, the thing is, now we're out of nukes. <laughs> so our big two two hitting uh, uh, bad boys are gone. I still want to go here, but uh, there's one more planet to visit, so I'm guessing that's the planet. Let's go a bit closer. Let's see. It's a planet with life. Sure, let's land there. Sini the first. Local ecosystem is full of strange plants. The entire planet seems to carry a faint trace of warp energy. Research in the ecosystem will likely generate some value in data credits. Sure. Send bo bots for scientific samples and leave the planet untouched. Uh, sure, send crew. Let's see if anybody gets injured or something like that. Dominating plants on this planet grow enormous pots filled with oily substances as fruit. Analysis indicates the fruit oil can be processed into star fuel as it carries small warp charge. Harvest the star fuel fruits. Wow, it's so loud. <laughs> uh, research and echo harvest. Lose 50 synthetics? Research and mass harvest. Ecological damage to planet expected. Research only leave this beautiful world untouched. Disengage and come back later. Um, okay, so we get 50 synthetics or less if we do echo harvesting the fruit. How many synthetics do we have? Which one is synthetics? 
Might be this one? Grab it. Uh, that might be it. Or is, or is this explosive? That's, that's explosives, isn't it? Isn't it? Organics, fuel, synthetics. Oh, so we lost synthetics. We got a bunch of Xeno data, which is money. Uh, so this is synthetics. Okay. This is, I thought this was metal, but this is metal. This is synthetics. Of course. Fine. Convert more to fuel. Good. Okay, that one explored. We can move forward. Correct? Yeah, we visited this. We could warp there. Uh, 44 fuel. Alright. Let's uh, make it. Good. Let's go. So, we have that bad boy over here. Where are we? Where's our ship? Where is our ship, though? Let's unpause. Oh, we're here. That was our ship. Well, let's fly in here. Oh, I think we have uh, a metal trader. Okay. Metal Trader, Tachyum Collective. Mere existence to you, fellow consciousness. Let us trade varieties of matter for mutual benefit. A fleet will be departing the system after their present interactions. We present you with an exclusive set of offers. So we can get uh, metals. We can't really store uh, much. Can we? Where's our exotics? Is this our exotics? Three? Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave, my friend. What is this thing? It's a clown of artificial ob artificial objects, possibly remains of a space battle. There could be hazardous conflict remains, such as unexploded mines, or salvageable resource in the area. We gotta investigate. Gotta investigate. Gold bars collected. Amongst other bits of metal, we discover a load of precious metal bars. Perhaps somebody dumped them as access to carry something more valuable. Yeah, we do have access as well. Uh, crafting a pack, I guess. Sure, let's use some fuel, god damn it. Uh, let's hope this planet over here might have something for us. It's a gas giant, so no. Hello, small volume of hostile fuel elements have been detected. Yes. Below average, perfect. The mining process went as smoothly as possible. Remaining fuel elements are too dispersed to justify further harvesting. We got 78 fuel, which is pretty solid. Uh, and that means we can go ahead and we can jump uh, to Aposis. So, sure, let us warp to destination. Okay. Approaching ship, a single medium sized ship is hailing us. Style police patrol, okay. We notice your ship is using the wrong decoration style. Obviously, not our employees don't accept such ornaments around here. Here are the blueprints for redesigning your external decoration according to Red Empire values. Failure to comply results in death penalty, of course. Okay. A uh, hundred metal? Dude, we are full on metals. I am completely fine. I do not want to fight the police right now. I want to be here and trade with the boys. Okay. External detail reprinted. We reprinted and replaced the ship's external detail according to the traditional instructions provided by the local style police. They suffer from an unfortunate, unfortunate psychopathology with the evaluation of our AI. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, lifeless planet, huh? Clearly it's lifeless. Warning, access to this mining planet is restricted to intelligent banks DM, authorized vessels. Failure to respect property borders will result in attack by orbital defenses. Long range missile to neutralize the satellites. Fight the satellites from tactical distance, risk mothership HP. We're gonna leave. Uh, I don't really wanna fight them. What do they want? Okay, thank you. That's that's all I was uh, here for. Uh, is there like something we can just go? Okay. Uh, I was just wondering if there's something maybe just floating some debris. Oh, that's that's where we're going. That's where we're actually going. Nice. I don't like all the red there, by the way. Not the biggest fan. But let's go to Hess. Two trade signals, two, two planets, and two fleets. Well, it's uh, the best we can do, right? The best we can do. Hello, friends. We're not going to do go to the exit warp gate yet. Uh, let's see. Inhabited planet. Let's go there. 
Contemplator col colony. This planet is colonized by an advanced civilization, a multi-species community of philosophers calling themselves the Contemplators. The galactic joke is that the Contemplators are in deep thought all the time because they do not know what they really want. Uh, can we land? Automated bots meet us at the landing to give us an overview of our options. They explain that the dominant philosophical policy allows them to meet the locals only once. Interaction with the automated trade platform will remain open. Sure. Meet the locals. The contemplators told us they've decided collectively to not answer any question asked by their visitors. Instead, they share with us two absolutely most interesting existential questions they had discovered. We're not given any answers. We got two fate points. Perfect. Uh, I would like to revisit this because there's that trade platform. Thank you. No, I don't want uh, tips about trade station. That's okay. Uh, let's see. We want fuel. Most certainly. We want to buy fuel. That's all we can do. 420 credits. Ooh, snap. 420 credits. Uh, we could sell some metals because we have access as well. Yeah. Let's sell some. Sells one by one, huh? Uh, we don't want to sell too many. Because some of it is used to power our weapons. So let's go like even 200. It should give us more options for fuel. If he confirmed us. We can now get more fuel. I don't want to spend all my credits just on fuel though. We need organics too, but I guess not as much. Not for now, just get all the fuel we can. Perfect. That's all of our money. Uh, I don't think we have any damage. No. What are these modules? Fuel packs? Cool. Uh, let us... Exit. Alright. So, that's the exit warp gate. There's two more things. Uh, let's go to the space station. Yeah, somebody's coming towards us there. Hello. Um, there's nothing special over here, is there? Did you have engines? Ancient mini cannon. Amazing. That's a point defense weapon. We do have a point defense weapon over here. Out of the engine. Uh, outdated engine. Yeah, that was hard to say. Mm, yeah, we're okay. Crew, it's a converted drone. Yeah, approaching ship, single, medium, rat size, rat sized empire, indeed. Uh, alien vessel, the star system is rat empire property. And according to local rules, all alien visitors must pay the property visiting tax or be immediately destroyed. And by the way, we are armed with powerful nuclear weapons. I do not like the fact that you're armed with powerful nuclear weapons. Uh, at the same time, I do not believe that you are armed with powerful nuclear weapons. So I will, I will go for this battle. Okay, they might be armed with powerful nuclear weapons because they're big. Let's see, they have a fast fang laser. It's a light laser. They have an Imperial Gatling gun. Uh, what is this turret? It's point defense, maybe? That's point defense. What is this turret? Just a, just a turret. They do have... A decoy capital missile. Actually, we do have one missile. God damn it, I forgot that we have uh, that thing as well. Can we deploy it right now? Probably not, right? Or yes? Can you move this in here? And why not? Hello. Why can't you not? Oh, because I'm stupid. Install it there. There you go. There you go, that's all I wanted to do. Now we're fighting these boys. Um, it's uh, probably not gonna go well. But, okay, sniper cannon, what are we taking out? I don't like the idea of this Gatling gun. Uh, I'm thinking we're not doing anything against this. That's bad boy. That's a laser, we're not worried about lasers, so I'm probably the most worried against that Gatling gun. So if you could snipe it, that'd be great. Now my number two is that bad boy. Where's their shield thing? It's a shroomery. Cool. That's the shield generator. Let's go for the shield generator with this bad boy. And then laser can just... I don't know. 
shoot the missile or something. Yeah, definitely shooting the missile. Okay, we got some damage on that. They missed us. Very good. Okay, number five. It's a uh, capable draw of enemy point defense fire. Does minor damage against enemy ship hull faster than average nuke. So this is basically useless. But we'll get it in there. Just because. Just because. I mean, this thing is not taking any damage yet. Oh, we are out of shields. That's bad. That's that's bad. How is their shield generating capabilities? Still up and running, like fully. I don't like this deflection. Uh, I think we're gonna have some problems. Uh, crew, let's see. Can we get anybody else on repairs? Um, what do we get with all of you guys working the bridge? Let's get you... Oh. Can you get the repairs as well, please? I appreciate that. Alright. Let's get this guy in repairs. And let's get our sniper, instead of working on this bad boy, let's get uh, him work on the shield. Because I don't like that shield at all. Deflections. How's our HP? 41 still. There's is a 12. Okay. Okay. Uh, that bad boy is not do doing so well. We got their laser down. Okay, laser just point up front. They have 6 HP left. Still have full HP. So the Red Empire, I'm guessing they are not exactly amazing, are they? Continue shooting this way. I don't like what these guys are doing, but they should be going down right about now. Good stuff. Fry the bastards. Salvage complete. Uh, we got a bunch of good stuff out of that. Perfect. Modules, fate points. Good stuff. Very well done. Well, for now, thank you buddy for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Cook her out.